Well, we just bought a bunch of wood. We yeah. filled our bellies with beer and burritos. So, I guess we have to start. What are we doing? Um, we're just gonna put down a subfloor layer. We're gonna paint it with old old Henry's. Get it waterproof and yeah. All right. Read. Screw her right to the frame, and then we can start building on top of that. So we bought uh, this uh, Henry's Damp Proofer Asphalt, basically just liquid tar, uh, in a gallon bucket. And we just laid it right on the bottom side of this foundational piece of 1732, or is it 2332? 2332 plywood. Yeah, probably that. And we just laid it on when it was wet, came back the next day, and laid it on some more. And this stuff is just perfect if it's going to be on the bottom side. So for fastening the plywood to uh, the metal trailer frame, we're using these specialty screws and um, they're really cool. What, what they do is um, they drill in and these little wings right here drill through the plywood and create sort of a pilot hole for these threads to clear. And then this actually taps the sheet metal going through. So then when it hits these wings, they just break off and it drills right into the sheet metal and sinks in. Um, I'd never heard of these until I found them on um, some other tiny house forum for doing plywood to the metal frame like this, and they work great. Um, so I definitely recommend these. Let me show you how, how I sink these. Uh, the other thing is I'd really recommend using one of these impact drivers for this. Um, it helps when it hits the metal, it taps it because it, it has a little bit more impact um, once you get all the way through. A normal drill will just spin out and you'll drive yourself crazy. There we go, we're just doing them all across the deck and that's our subfloor.